guys welcome back to container crops the scaredy cat gardener we are going to do a diy do it yourself project today we are going to paint strawberries on rocks to put in our containers so that the birds will recognize the rocks as being strawberries before the strawberries actually form the fruit and they will go on about their business from what I am told, birds are easy to train. So therefore we shouldn't have an issue because they will recognize the, the strawberries and they will think they are the fruit and my strawberries will be protected. So let me get my paints out and get started. Okay guys, so for this project, which is painted strawberry rocks to keep the birds away, we will need rocks. You want to try to get rocks that are as close of a shape as a strawberry as possible. Uh, it's not always possible, like this one's a little lumpy, but the birds won't know the difference in that, so that doesn't matter. But just for presentation, you want to try to find those that are shaped as close to a strawberry as possible. We will need a paint. For rocks, you're going to need acrylic paint. So this is acrylic paint, and for the strawberries, I will need red, green, black, and yellow. Now, I got all of these supplies, everything you see here except the rocks from the dollar store the dollar tree guys so everything was a dollar a piece so it's not expensive i got a tray so that i can put my paint in it paint brushes you will need toothpicks and this is a gloss that you're going to put on once you have absolutely completed everything and they are dry so that they will shine and give a really good appearance of like a wet strawberry or just a pretty strawberry. So we're going to get started. Oh, the rocks I got from a hobby store and I think they were pretty reasonable. I think I got like their three pound bags, which you know, rocks are kind of heavy. So, but it's probably about 30 rocks in each bag, 30 or 40, so that's pretty good. And as you can see, the rocks are all a pretty good size. So these were about $2.99 per bag. They were not very expensive at all. Um, and guys, drop down in the comments if you'd like to see me paint other vegetables because they are also good markers for your garden. So you could paint like one for corn or something and put that by your corn. You'll know it's corn. It's not going anywhere. It's a painted rock. So it's not probably not going anywhere or it won't fade or anything like that. Um, can't promise you I can do every veggie or anything as far as painting the rocks, but I'll do my best. If you guys want to see me do other painted rocks, I'll do a uh, collaboration of a different, a bunch of different veggies in one video. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have all of our rocks painted red and they are currently drying. While they're drying, I want to say that if you get any paint on your skin, on your hands, you can clean it off immediately 
with um, window cleaner. Now, again, this is the one I got at the dollar store, but you definitely want the clear one, not the blue. Window cleaner comes in clear and blue. And what you just want to do, as you can see, I've been using it. You just want to spray a napkin lightly with it. And if you get any paint on your fingers or anything, it's of course best to get it off as soon as possible. But just to show you, put that on my finger. You guys can see that. And it's on there, so you just wipe it off. And it's off. Now, if you have any type of skin sensitivity or anything like that, you can always use gloves. You can always use gloves. Okay, guys, so this one's pretty dry. We are going to go in and start with our dots. Now, every single time you do anything, you must let it dry. So we're going to put our first dots on, which will be black, and then we'll let it dry. Okay, guys, we are already baking strawberries. Look, don't they look good? Yum. <laughs> no, guys, these are rocks. These are rocks. Okay, let's go on outside and put them in the garden. Okay, guys, and I decided to do the varnishing part outside because it's very, very strong. So you just want to take your paintbrush and you can put this inside of something if you want. But for me right now, it's just easy for me to do it this way and this dries clear guys and you just want to paint over it just like so it will dry clear give it a little gloss to it and it will protect the paint in the long run so you just want to go over each one like this 
and allow it to dry. Guys, before we put our strawberries out for our garden birds to keep them away, I want to, oh, something's flying around. I want to go over the details for my giveaway. Starting today, guys, you guys can go over to my other video and I will leave the link in the description. It is the spring garden deck video. I have a ton of emoji characters dancing around throughout the video, making fun of different things I said. I want you guys to go over there and count them and then come back to this video and leave me a comment. I'm going to use a random comment picker. So what you want to do is leave me a comment. If you find 10, then write it out. 10, T-E-N. If you find two, write it out. T-W-O. You must use the word, not the number. On that comment, make sure that is the only thing you say. If you want to leave me something else, if you want to say something else to me, leave me another comment. Feel free to do that, but do it in a separate comment because the comment picker is only going to pick up everybody's comment with just that number. Then I will be doing another video of the winners. You will have until next Friday. That is the, I have no clue, let me look. <laughs> anyway, I'll put that in the description as well. You guys will have until next Friday to go through the videos that give you a week because everybody may see this video at a different time and I want to give everybody an opportunity uh, to come back and make the comment and then I will be selecting five winners um, and I will give those winners out in different videos coming up. I am giving away seeds. You will get to pick the seeds you want. When I have my winners, you need to claim your prize. So when I have my winner, you will need to contact me and let me know uh, via email. My email will be in the description as well of this video. And let me know that you're the winner and I will give you a list of the seeds that I have at that time for the giveaway and you can pick the seeds you want and I will get your information and I will mail the seeds to you. That's all you need to do uh, in order to participate in it. I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel as well. Put on that post notification so that you'll know when uh, I announce my different giveaways. I will be doing this more than once. I'm not going to, although I will pick all uh, five winners, they will be picked in separate videos. So get that notification bell on so you can be there when you win to claim your prize. Uh, you will have approximately, once I put out the winner, you will have another five days. And when I announce the winner, I will give that date in order to claim your prize. If you don't claim it in those five days, it will be forfeited. Now, this giveaway is for United States only okay you must reside within the u.s within the states of the u.s in order to participate i can't be shipping seeds out of the country guys come on now even though they're just seeds <laughs> at any rate i think that's all let me double check my notes yes i have notes for this <laughs> And I think that's it. I will also want you all to know I am doing a giveaway for my members only. This is going to be a cash giveaway or a Visa card. I haven't decided what. You guys don't have to do anything at all. I'm just going to do a video with a random name pick um, for the winner of that. So if you want to participate in that, you'll have to join the channel uh, because that is for my members only. Um, and I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and get these strawberries in to the container so our birds can pick up on them. And guys, you want to do this prior to your strawberries actually growing. You don't want to actually have the red strawberries before you do this. You want these in the bed in the container first so that the birds can get used to them go ahead try to eat them 
and fly away going about their business so come on guys come on over okay guys so from here all we want to do is place them around within the container that you have strawberries in it, guys have strawberries in it. remember leave me some comments if you guys want me to um if you guys want me to put more um do more paintings of more different fruits and things that you can probably use in your garden and look what I see right there. A worm, y'all saw me jump, right? It's a caterpillar. And we're getting ready to get that caterpillar right now and in a hurry. I'm gonna bring you guys up close so that you can see this really good. So guys, this is what we look like when we are all done. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and turn on that post notification bell. Remember, anywhere you can set a pot, you can grow a plant. And I'll see you on the trail.